Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the top three indicators for swing trading to make an easy $200 per day. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. So guys, let's uh, dive into it. All right, so there is a couple of things you guys need to understand before we talk about these indicators. The first thing is you guys could have the best indicators in the entire world, but if you guys don't have the best strategy, you're gonna lose money. So my recommendation is to build up a strategy that works well for you and incorporate indicators that meet that strategy. The indicators we're gonna be covering are indicators that I use in my strategy. And if you guys want a full detailed video on that, I'll put it down below so you guys, so you guys can check it out because I made one a couple weeks ago. All right, the second thing you guys must know is education, 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 and paper trading. The more you learn, the more you'll earn, and practice makes perfect with swing trading. I cannot stress it enough to, you know, practice and practice and practice before you guys, you know, before you guys use your hard-earned capital. So now that you understand that, make sure you guys fully research everything before you guys start trading because the last thing I would want you guys to do is to lose your money. My recommendation, paper trade for at least a year before you use your capital. Understand and learn all different types of markets so you guys can be a uh, the best trader ever. All right, now that we understand that, now let's dive into these topics three indicators. All right, so the first indicator that I use every single day and I love so much, this one here is the moving average line. So moving average line for me acts as a couple of different things. The first thing it acts as is a trend indication. You guys can look at it and instantly know the direction of the stock. You don't have to follow the chart. You can just look at the moving average line. If it's flat, then the stock's flat. If it's going down, then the stock's going down. Not to mention, moving average lines have a tendency to act as support and resistance. You guys will look at this picture that I'll show you guys, and this right here is a clear indication of something selling off, hitting a moving average line, and bouncing back up. The beauty of moving average lines is you guys can make swing trades near and around them as support. On top of that, when the stock is below a moving average line, it has a tendency to act as resistance. Now, the higher up you go, so you could have a 200 moving average line, that's gonna be a very, very hard support and a hard resistance compared to a moving average line of 20 or 30 or 90. But in the short term, moving average lines just act as trend indication and support and resistance. So when the stock's above it, it's what? Support, when it's below it, it's gonna act as resistance. Pretty much how they form is very simple. They merge all the previous closing prices together to form this line. In the second indicator that I use every single day, before we jump into it, hit that like button and subscribe. Subscribe right now. Guys, we're nearing 23,000 subscribers, so make sure you guys subscribe right now. All right, now that you guys subscribed, let's dive into the next indicator. All right, so the second most important indicator for swing trading that I use every single day is the RSI. The RSI is called the Relative Strength Index. This just determines the overall strength of the stock. Now, looking at it, you'll just notice it's a squiggly line, but if you look close, there's gonna be a line on the top, line on the bottom. Normally, how I set mine is I set the 90 on the top and a 25 on the bottom. So what I look for is when the stock sells off to a 25, that means the stock is undervalued and we could be looking at a possible reversal. Now, when the stock's at a 90 on the RSI, this could mean overvalued or we could see sell-off coming very soon. Looking at this chart, you'll definitely see a clear correlation of a stock that has sold off and a stock that has you know, buying pressure from that RSI. This is a fantastic indicator that a lot of beginners I would highly recommend because it's very easy to determine if a stock is overvalued or undervalued. All right, so now that we understand the RSI, now let's move on to the third and final indicator that I use every single day. This one here is by far the most basic one. It's volume. Looking at the bottom of most charts, you guys will see this picture right here where we have these different spikes going up or down. This determines the volume. The volume means the overall buying pressure or selling pressure. How many people are buying and selling the stock? Now, as swing traders, you want people investing. You want people buying and selling. The last thing you want to see is major sell-off, major volume dips. That means the stock could sell off. 
And if you ha see a huge volume spike, this could be a major indication that we're going to be seeing a lot of buying pressure entering this stock. Now, looking at this picture, you guys will definitely see the correlation in between getting high buying pressure off high volume and you guys could be getting major selling pressure off low volume. Volume is very, very important and I would highly recommend making sure all of your charts have volume indications guys and guys with swing trading at least for me i don't like too many studies i don't like too many indicators i feel like three is that great spot because you're not overwhelmed by a lot of studies indicators and all that stuff it gets very very confusing very very fast because something could be telling you to buy the other thing could be telling you to sell so for me i keep it basic i don't like to overwhelm myself i don't like to honestly just make it stressful i want swing trading and trading in general to just be relaxing and making sure i'm feeling very very confident with my trades because like 85 percent of swing trading is literally emotion you know it's it's holding when you believe and it's selling when you think you've lost and if you're overwhelmed by emotion because of studies you're you're not setting yourself up for success so I would highly recommend setting up maybe one or two in your paper trading and then slowly add more if you need it or slowly delete more if you realize something's making you overwhelmed or confused. So guys, that's my recommendation. Those are my top three indicators for swing trading. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe right now. So we'll see you later. Take care, everyone. Oh.